Starting at the top of your mat, bring your feet hips distance, give your shoulders, your head a little movement, soften and straighten your legs just for a moment to feel into your body and arrive. And close your eyes where you are. Find your stillness, standing tall. See if you can connect to your breath and root down for your feet. Just taking a moment to check in with yourself while you're here before starting anything else. Have a moment and ask yourself how you're feeling today, how you're really feeling. And then take another moment and ask yourself what you'd like to feel, what you'd like to explore or do during this hour of movement. And then take another moment and ask yourself what would serve you Maybe not what you want to do, but what would do you good during this hour for yourself? And just let those thoughts just roam around for a moment in your head space. And slowly flutter our eyes open, blinking our eyes open. Wiggle your toes, lift your toes up towards the sky. Then reach your arms to the side and up, stretch up tall. Staying here for a moment, you can even come to your tippy toes. Stand even taller, breathe in. And as you exhale, reach your right arm down your right side body and take a little side stretch here. Opening up, reach tall through your left fingertips. And find a little bit of strength through your pelvic floor as you exhale. So try not to sink too deep, but staying like you're lifting yourself up each time you breathe out. You feel the side body opening, breathe into your side ribs. Inhale, let's reach both arms straight up. Exhale, reach your left arm down your left thigh. Reach your right arm up. Take a moment to adjust into the posture. You don't get there immediately. Maybe it takes a couple breaths, a couple moments to truly feel yourself, feel the space, feel the body arriving where it wants to go. Relax your head maybe, maybe look up. Reach both arms straight up to the sky, inhale. And on exhale, bring your palms towards your heart. Now soften your knees. And bring your hands towards your thighs. Start to lean forwards until your hands touch the top of your knees. And stick your sit bones, your tailbone back behind you. Feel your hamstrings get a bit of a stretch here. Roll your shoulder blades onto your back body. So you have an open chest, open collarbones. Inhale here. As you exhale, send your hips towards the left. Bring them through center. Send your hips over towards the right. Beautiful. Coming through center. Bring your hands to your hips. Inhale. And as you exhale, push the floor away to straighten your legs. And straight is a relative term here. It doesn't have to be completely straight. You can have a slight bend of the knees. Now find some strength for your legs. And see, maybe you can find your shins or the floor with straight legs. Same thing as before. Send your hips towards the left. And then send your hips through center and over towards the right. You see how that feels for you. Coming back through center, soften your knees and let your body fold and melt. Just hang over your legs. Grab a hold of opposite elbows and completely hang here. Let your head, your skull go really heavy. Try to let go of your head from your neck. Bring some of the weight into the balls of your feet instead of your heels. Let your spine completely decompress. One more deep breath in here. Open your mouth, let it go. Bring your fingertips towards the floor and walk your fingertips over towards the right. Maybe your left fingers reach even further. Maybe you bend through your right knee. Stay here and stretch through your torso. Send your left hip behind you. 
Walk your fingertips over towards the left. Bend through your left knee, reach your right fingertips even more. Enjoy this. Enjoy the opening, enjoy your breaths. And slowly walk your fingertips towards the center. Bring your fingertips towards your shins. Inhale, lengthen your spine, create some space underneath you. Exhale, fold in towards yourself. One more, inhale, lengthen. Vertebra by vertebra. Exhale, bow over your legs. Bring your hands down. Step your left foot all the way towards the back of the mat. And then bring your finger, come to your fingertips and just rock front and back, pushing over that back foot. So coming to your toes, then the ball of your foot. There's a couple of rocks here. Feel your left hip flexor open up underneath you. And then ground your left palm flat down, reach your right arm to the sky, twist your right knee. Maybe the up. Keep breathing. Keep feeling into your body as you introduce these really beautiful, big movements, big postures. And from here, bring your right fingertips to the floor. Pop your left foot in just a little bit, maybe halfway up the mat, and step your left foot down, if possible, obviously. Try to stretch your front leg long and fold over your right leg. All of this is relative. My cues, even the way I look in the screen, is just guidance. Maybe lift your right toes up if you have some space there. Maybe you're able to lift your entire right foot off, not the right foot, right toes, the top of the right foot, so you're just on the right heel. Keep breathing, lengthen through your whole spine. Beautiful. From here, step your right foot flat down, hands go to the mat, and step your right foot all the way back. Find your downward facing dog. Take a moment to pedal through the legs, Straighten one leg, bend the other knee, and just keep switching slowly. As you do this, give yourself a little massage on the bottom of your foot, so the soles of your feet. You can even twist a little bit, left to right. Your entire spine twisting, twisting. Beautiful. From here, let's wave our body forwards to a plank. And slowly drop your knees down. Inhale into your cow. Reach your chest forwards. Exhale, push the ground away. Ground your spine. Inhale, come forwards. Look at something. Exhale, push away. Feel something new. Let's do one more. Inhale. Feel your vertebra come towards one another. Exhale, separate your shoulder blades. And inhale, come into neutral spine. Lift your knees up, come to downward facing dog. And then walk your feet halfway up the mat, just halfway. See if you can ground your heels flat down, breathe in. And as you exhale, fold in towards your legs. Soft neck, relaxed head, sit bones to the sky. Beautiful. Inhale, look forward, step all the way towards the top of the mat, fold here. And then reach with your chest and your heart all the way front and up. As your arms reach to the sides, reach up above you, look up as your palms touch. And as you exhale, bring your palms towards your heart. Release your arms by your sides. Let's stay in motion. Inhale, arms reach to the side and up. And on exhale, fold your way, whatever way you wish to come down. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, hold yourself, give yourself a hug. Bring your hands to the floor, breathe in. And step your right foot all the way back. Once the foot grounds down, start to rock front and back. Stay on your fingertips. Take a moment to just notice how this leg feels. 
how this hip flexor feels, how this entire side feels. Beautiful. Now find some stillness. Bring your right palm flat down and spin your heart open towards the left. Reach your left finger straight up. Maybe your gaze. Try to keep broadness through your chest, through your back body. Keep a long line through your legs. Breathe in deeply here, even in a twist. Slowly in your next exhalation, framing your left foot. Let's hop this right foot in a couple steps, a couple feet, and try to ground down through both heels, flat on the floor. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Try to straighten this front leg by pressing the hip back. And then you exhale, fold over your left leg. Notice where the tightness is in your body. Grow aware of points of sensation that are highlighted. And take your breath with you. So you can ease into the space, into the feeling of being here. Relaxing your head. Don't look at me because I'm looking at the camera to check you guys out. And from here, let's bend our left knee, hands come down. Step your left foot and your right foot all the way towards the back of the mat, towards your downward facing dog. Pedal out your legs once again here. And then bring your hips towards the left. As you bend your knees, keep both hands flat down. And just push the mat away, hips to the sky. Come back to center, down facing dog. And then send your hips towards the right. Bend your knees, push both hands into the mat, push away. And come back towards down facing dog. And wave your spine all the way forwards to a plank. Take your time. Once you arrive in plank, slowly lower your knees down and slowly lower your chest all the way down to the count of five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your body onto the mat if you can come too far forwards. Inhale into a low cobra and exhale lower down. Roll your shoulders onto your back body. One more time, inhale towards mid cobra. And exhale, lower down. Inhale, let's come all the way up. I said that was last time I was lying. Now from here, push into your right hand and rock onto your left hip. Bring your right foot behind your left. Keep both hands on the floor. Maybe come to your right fingertips. And take a moment to enjoy this little opening and stretch. Your legs, your hips are starting to face a different direction than your chest. So you can take a breath. And then as you exhale, sit fully down on the floor, facing the back of your mat. Both legs are long. From here, I want you to bend your right knee in. So the right foot comes in towards the left inner thigh. Janusrasana. Now flex this straight leg. Breathe in. As you exhale, enjoy your fold here. Fold it over the straight leg. Take it where your body wants to go. It's still the beginning. Perhaps you were seated all day. Perhaps you are moving all day. And everyone's body comes to this practice with their own different set of needs. As you inhale, slowly roll up. Keep your right leg where it is and open up this left leg even wider. Even wider. And then from here, make sure this left leg is still long and fold in the direction of your pubic bone. So straight out in front of you. Maybe you go low. Maybe you stay upright. And take your time here. Ease. Notice the muscles that you feel, the joints. Not just in your legs, but in your spine, your shoulders, even your neck. On inhale, let's slowly roll up. Let's take a little twist to the right. So find your right knee with your left hand. Look over your right shoulder behind you. Inhale. As you exhale, find a little bit more of the twist. 
Now stay in this twist. We're going to find a side bend. So reach your right arm up and start to drop your left shoulder towards your left knee. And now if you're super open or you have long arms, you might be able to find the foot. But don't compromise the posture here, just trying to find the foot. Instead, I invite you to keep reaching and feeling the length through your right side body. Now this left arm that's draped in front of you, you can even place it on your left shin or your left knee and kind of create a little shelf or support for your left side of the head. You can reach your right arm up over, enjoy the freedom of movement here, the possibility not staying for too much longer. Beautiful. Let's rise up using some of our core strength. Reach both arms straight up. Now bring your right hand behind you to, by your right glute. And you're going to send your hips forwards and up. So you're resting on the top of your um, right shin. Sending your hips front into the sky. Enjoy us. just a small little back bend here. And then as you exhale, you can slowly lower all the way down. Stretch both of your legs straight out in front of you where we were to start the sequence. And then bring your left hand down. Can you roll into your belly again? Find your cobra. Inhale, coming halfway up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, come higher up, a bit of a higher cobra. This time as you exhale, roll onto your right hip. Step your left foot behind your right heel. And try to, to stand tall. I know we're not standing. Try to stretch a bit taller. Let's see if I can do this on the opposite side. There you go. Just for a moment. And then release the floor. Find yourself seated, facing the back of the mat. Let's make sure that I've done this the correct way. One second. There you go. <laughs> yes. Now bend your left knee in, finding your right foot straight out in front of you. Yes, I've got this right. I'm not doing the same side again. That's always a worry. Now strength through the straight leg. Find your fold. You can grab a hold of the foot or just find the floor. Ease into it. And you can bring your left ribs down as much as your right ribs. Squaring off to the floor. And feel free to drop your head as well. You will be moving, I promise you. And you're going to miss this part. <laughs> so enjoy this opening, easing, and feeling into the body before we really move it and work it and challenge it. Let's slowly roll up, sitting tall. Right leg opens into this little half B. And then from here, bring your fingertips forwards and see if you can find a fold straight out in front of you. This might be really difficult, so you might be staying fairly high up. That's completely fine. Or after a couple breaths, you're able to find more space in your spine, your right leg, your hips. I invite you during moments of silence to Really come inwards to yourself and take the moment to really just enjoy not having to do anything immediately. Let's come out of this sitting tall and take a twist towards the left. So left fingers behind you, right fingers to your left knee. Use your breath to guide you deeper. Inhale and sit tall. Exhale and you can twist through your chest, twist with your eyes. Chase your left shoulder behind you. Inhale and slowly unwind. And we're gonna reach our left arm up and start to dip right shoulder towards right knee. See where we go. Not collapsing, staying fairly active, using our strength and then adjusting accordingly for what your body needs. And just play around where your arms want to go. You can even grab a hold of the toes, maybe. Stay up. 
We can find loads of depth. Maybe both hands find the foot. And once again, you can bring movement to this free shoulder. You can relax your neck. Beautiful. Let's rise up using core strength, but the other, the other side, both arms reach up, and then bring your left hand by your left glute behind you. Send your hips forwards as you step on your right foot and come onto your left shin. Reach your right arm up, overhead, squeeze your seat. And so slowly, let's lower back down. Reach both legs straight out in front of us. And we're now going to rock over our right hip to come back on the mat. Finding our cobra once again. Inhale into a higher cobra this time. Almost imagine you shoot your chest forwards, grow longer. And as you exhale, push through your hands. Find child's pose. Inhale, roll up so you're kneeling, sitting on your, on your um, heels, and take your arms in a big circle behind you, all the way forwards, round your spine. Let's do one more like that. Inhale, open through your chest, take a big back bend. And then as you exhale, round through your spine, reach your fingertips forwards, tuck in. Sitting tall, let's take it the other way. Inhale, sweep your arms forwards, reach up, 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 all the way far behind you. And as you exhale, circle your arms back, tuck your chin in, round and tuck. One more. Inhale, reach far out in front of you and start to take your spine into back bend. Reach your fingers up, away, go as far as you can with your shoulders, your arms, and then start to circle, back stroke, and round your spine. Let's give our shoulders a couple circles. Front, up, back, and down. And we're going to make our way into tabletop. So walk your hands out in front of you and find your knees below your hips, hands below your shoulders. Tuck your toes under. And then turn your hands so your fingers face your knees. And if this is too uncomfortable for you, then I advise you just keep your hands normally. If not, let's open up through the wrists. Taking two cat cows here. Inhale, drop your belly. Lift your chest. Squeeze your um, chest in between your arms. As you exhale, push the ground away. Use your palms. Tuck your chin in. One more. Inhale, come forwards. Notice the difference in sensations here through your wrists, your shoulders. Exhale, round it up. Inhale into neutral spine and turn your fingers back so they face the front. And now let's begin to heat up a little bit, warm up the body. Let's hover our knees off the floor. Now, if this is too tough for you, keep them down, but I try to keep them off for as long as possible. Now with your knees off, Pour the weight into your right hand and your left foot. See if you can lift your left hand and your right foot off. So you've got opposite legs off. Then drop your left hand, drop your right foot. Lift your right hand, lift your left foot. Keep your balance, use your core, and drop it down. Switch, left hand, right foot. It's okay if you fall out of it. And slowly come down. Now keep going. Keep switching around. No rush to come into it. No rush to exit. Just gracefully falling if you do. And now let's see if you can tap your right hand to your left knee. And then slowly drop it down. Lift your left hand, your right foot. Tap hand to knee. And drop it down. Keep going. Switching, bringing this cross kind of movement underneath your body. Keep breathing. Beautiful. Let's do one more on each side. This is tough for me. I'm like, I feel fire inside me. <laughs> and then from here, lift your hips up to down, facing dog. Walk your feet back, push the ground away. 
Take a moment to feel some length, some length, some breath. Beautiful. Now walk your feet slightly closer so that your heels can come closer towards the floor. Breathe in. And just for the sake of this one, one time in this class, let's try and push our chest towards our legs. This is not the usual kind of down dog I go for. It might feel nice for between your shoulder blades after all that work. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And now exhale, walk your feet back as far back as possible. Even further, maybe off the mat. And once you come to your limit, stay there, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your belly. Look to your hands. Bring your collarbones forwards, shine your heart front. Feel your body shake, maybe. Stay firm. Look at something, a point on the floor. Inhale. Exhale, walk your feet back. Down, facing dog. Take a sigh, a breath, a release of relief. <laughs> Inhale with me. Open your mouth. Exhale. <sighs> Beautiful. Drop your knees slowly to the floor. Keep your toes tucked under. In fact, try to tuck under your little toe. That's usually one that's kind of floating up there. And then we're going to send our hips back and find ourselves reeling up in this broken toe position. Reach your arms front and up. Exhale, circle one back behind you. Inhale, front and up. Exhale, back behind you. Now bring your hands together like you're uh, reading, a, a holding a prayer. Now open up a book and then start to turn your fingers towards you and keep going with this motion, opening the book. Now as you do this, it doesn't have to be a book. You can start to just focus on the wrists, pushing against one another, providing a little massage. And then if you have coordination, you can go the other way. Open a book towards an imaginary person in front of you. Now, if you can stay on your toes like this for a little bit longer, stay. If not, untuck them. And from here, let's reach our arms straight up to the sky. Inhale. Exhale, reach your arms behind you. Interlace your fingers. Press your, your palms towards one another. And now squeeze your shoulder blades towards one another. And chase the floor with your knuckles, really stretching your arms back. Breathe big breaths here with me, in and out. As you inhale, feel your chest is light. As you exhale, feel your fists are heavy, like concrete blocks carrying you down. Inhale, chest lifts you up. Exhale, knuckles reach maybe further back behind you. Just two more breaths. You can close your eyes. And one more breath here. Strength, activity through your arms, your shoulders. Beautiful. Slowly release your, your crossing. Bring your hands back out in front of you. Untuck your toes if they were still tucked. Give them a little tipper tapper, pitter patter until they feel a bit normal again. And then once they feel normal, we're going to do something similar to what we did here with lifting opposite arms off. We're going to do it on the tops of our feet. So let me demonstrate. I'm going to lift my knees off just a bit, staying on the tops of my feet. Then I'm going to try and lift my knee up to my chest, stretch it back, and then slowly drop it down. And maybe I can do it while I'm lifting the opposite arm off. But this is tough. So if you find it's too much for your ankles, you feel you don't have the strength there, the mobility, then just keep your toes tucked under and do it like a bird dog, all right? So try with me to lift your knees off. Stay on the tops of your feet. Beautiful. Now bring your right knee up. Bring it to your chest. Maybe lift your left arm up. Stretch your right leg back. And slowly, both your hand and your foot come down. Switch. Left knee lifts off. 
Bring it to your chest. Lift your right arm off the floor. Stretch your left leg back. Slowly bring your left foot down again. Drop to your knees. Sit back in your heels. Give your shoulders a movement. It's really tough. So you really got to focus, breathe, and move with your body. Work with your body. So let's try it one more time. Hands come down. Lift your knees off so they cover. Right knee and foot comes off. Bring the knee to your chest. Lift your left hand off. Stretch your right leg behind you. And slowly lower hand and foot. Left foot lifts off. Bring the knee to your chest. Reach your right arm ahead of you. Stretch your left leg long behind you. And slowly place it down. Knees go down. Sit back. Take some shoulder circles. Squeeze shoulder blades behind you. Breathe. It's a lot for me too, especially talking throughout it. <laughs> All right. Let's find some movement that's a bit more, a bit more fluid. Hands to the floor. Tuck your toes under. Lift your hips. Downward facing dog. So happy to be here. Reach your right leg up to the sky. Feel long. Give your right ankle a couple circles, especially since we were on that ankle on the top of the foot. Now step your right foot by your right thumb. Drop your left knee down. Rise up. Reach your arms straight up. Here, I want you to stay and do it your way. Some people like to go really deep, feel really open. Some people want to stay fairly upright, a little bit away from the floor, and focus on really reaching your shoulders up. Wherever you choose to be, be there for at least two more breaths. Really breathe. Let your body move with your breath. Beautiful. And then bring your hands down. Lift your left knee off and stretch your hips back. Find a straight right leg and fold. Once again, straight is relative for you. See if you can lift your toes, your entire foot off, so you're just on the right heel. One more breath here. Now bend your right knee, stretch your left leg, finding this lunge. Bring your fingertips far out in front of you and try to bend your right knee further past your right ankle. So past your right ankle. <laughs> and as you're here, stretch your left heel back. Really big, big, deep, deep stretch here. Firm through your right ankle, press down through your right foot. Like an, like an anchor. Beautiful. Inhale here with me. And as you exhale, bring your hands down. Stretch your right leg straight back. Float it off the floor. So you're in this three-legged plank. Now lift your left arm up. Reach your left arm overhead. Left hand down, right foot down. Left leg to the scalp as left leg hovers off. Right arm, reach it straight out ahead of you. Slowly, left foot, right hand comes down. Drop your knees down, drop your elbows down. And peel your heart forward and through into cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, roll over your toes or your knees to downward facing dog. Inhale your left leg to the sky. Give your left ankle a couple circles, a couple feelings. And step your left foot by your left thumb. Right knee comes down. Rise up to your Anjali Asana and find your way where you want to be. You can even stay in movement. There's no one there to tell you you can't. Why not? Two more breaths here. Play around with where you're looking. You can look up, down, around, or stay still. Hands to the floor. Lift your right knee off the floor and send your hips back. Finding straight left leg. Fold over this left leg. Find long spine. Maybe even undulate your spine as you breathe. Beautiful. Stick with it. Even while you're here, feel your hips really square off. 
slight squeeze of your inner groin. Beautiful. Now bend your left knee so deep. Bring your fingertips forwards. And now as you come forwards, bringing your right, left knee even over your left ankle, start to stretch your right heel back. Or not all we're doing is just falling down to the floor. So have this little oppositional feeling inside of your own physique, your own body. You have a lot of opposites going on today with these sort of opposite limb lifts. So feel that balance. Gorgeous. Are we ready? Hands come down, stretch your left leg straight back, hover it off the floor. Let's see if you can lift your right arm off. Stay there. Right hand down, left toes down. Switch, right leg up, left arm overhead. Beautiful. Left hand down, right foot down. Lower your knees to the floor, your elbows look forwards. And then peel your heart through. Inhale to your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a moment here. See if you can close your eyes. Focus your energy or your attention on the space in between your eyebrows. Almost feel that space is nice and hot. It's almost glowing or pulsating. Beautiful. From here, we're going to repeat that. We're going to build on, and it's going to get easier with repetition. It's going to still be challenging, though. Reach your right leg to the sky, inhale. Exhale, step it to your right thumb. Lower your left knee and rise up. See if you can explore something different here as we stay once again. Press down firmly through your right foot. Imagine you're pulling the mat back with your right heel. And lift your side body even higher, even longer up to the sky. Beautiful. Hands come down. Lift your left knee up. Hips go back. Fold over straight right leg. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold again. Inhale, bend through your right knee. This time, we're going to rise straight up to lunge. So take your time to get there. Be strong. Be purposeful. And in your lunge, see if you can find a bit of movement once again as you inhale, as you exhale, maybe you can bend deeper through your left, sorry, your right knee. Beautiful. Staying here for one more breath. And as you exhale, hands come down. Send your right leg straight back. Float it off the floor. Really square off the body. Now lift your left arm up, overhead. Stay. Slowly drop the hand of the foot down. Left leg lifts up. Flex the foot. Reach your right arm overhead. Stay. And lower hand, lower foot, lower knees, lower elbow. A lot of lowering. Inhale, peel your heart front, lift up. Squeeze your elbows in. Exhale, roll over your knees or your toes down, facing dog. Breathe in. Left leg goes up, shoots up. Exhale, step it front. Lower your right knee. Inhale, rise like the phoenix. Arms go up. Exhale, feel this front heel, front foot even more. Feel strong through your hips, through your glutes, even your hamstring. Hands come down. Lift your right knee off and take a fold over straight right leg. Sorry, straight left leg. I encourage you to try and lift your left toes up. Even if you can't do it, the effort of trying <laughs> will make sure that you're staying active all the way from your ankle up towards your hip. Breathe in. Let's bend our left knee. Press through your left foot as you rise up into your crescent lunge. Reach your arms up. Use your breath to ease into your fullest version of what this is. Look forwards. Feel your heart is open, your back body is open. Beautiful. 
As you exhale, plant your hands down. Swiftly, left foot goes back. Like the breeze. Swiftly, right arm reaches overhead. Right hand comes down, left foot comes down and switch. Right heel lifts, left arm goes overhead. Totally fine if you fall a little bit. Left hand down, right foot down. Knees and elbows. Peel your heart through. Inhale, enjoy your breath. Exhale, use your exhalations for that little bit of extra power as you breathe out into your movement. Down or facing dog. Do that one more time. Just one more time. See if something new comes into your body, into your awareness as you move through these little postures. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, step it forwards. Left knee goes down. Reach your arms up. This time, and every time you reach your arms up, bring your palms together and squeeze your left and your right hand together. Option to look up. As you're squeezing your arms, I want you to still feel your legs. Beautiful. Reach even higher through your fingertips. And slowly bring your hands to frame your right foot. Lift your left knee. Stretch your hips back. You see, it's like a little smooth Lego, not Lego, but smooth little step-by-step um, -step transition. It all works together seamlessly. Use your breath through these movements. Ease into it. Find your version of softness through through the hard parts, through the stiffer parts. Let's bend our right knee, floating up, hands together in a prayer in your Anjali Mudra. Maybe you look up. See how that affects your balance. Then maybe you close your eyes. Play around. And from here, open up your eyes, frame your right foot. Send your right leg straight back behind you, float it off the floor. Left arm goes overhead. Stay for a bit longer than normal. And then left hand comes down, right foot comes down, switch. Right arm overhead, left leg. Stay for a bit longer than normal. Right hand, left foot. Drop to your knees, your elbows. Peel your heart through. This time, try an upward facing dog. Lift your knees off. Exhale, roll over the tops of your feet into downward facing dog. Stay in motion, left leg to the sky. Step your left foot forwards, right knee down. Inhale, arms go up, palms together. Exhale, find yourself slowly easing into it. Last time we're doing this, frame your left foot, reach your right knee and hips go back. Fold over straight left leg. Find that gentle softness, even if it's just in your breath, let it translate into your body and your thoughts. Bend your left knee, power through the foot, let's rise up, palms together, look up. Feel your balance from inside, close your eyes. Feel your foot, your body, kind of figure out where it is in space. Now open your eyes, let's frame your left foot. Left leg goes back, this is the last time you're here. Float it off to the floor, float your right arm overhead. Stay here for five, four, three, two, and one. Let's slowly switch, right leg goes off, left arm goes off, five, four, Three, two, and one. Finally, hand comes down, foot comes down. Lower to your elbows and your knees. You know the drill. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lower to your knees once again. Bring your body forwards. Don't worry, we're starting to cool down. Bend through your elbows, come to your belly. Untuck your toes. Let's find something smooth. Bring your fingertips by your shoulders. 
wide. Point your elbows up. As you inhale, push through your fingertips. Peel your chest off. As you exhale, dip back down. Oscillate your cobra. Inhale. Imagine a string is pulling the back of your heart straight up and slowly releasing it down. Keep going. Inhale through both nostrils as you lift. Look out in front of you. As you exhale, slowly go. Two more. Inhale, rise. Exhale, dip. Last one, breathe in. Exhale. Beautiful. From here, reach your arms wide open, so they're in a T. So your right arm reaches out in line with your right shoulder. We're going to find a little scorpion tail. So reach your right foot up to the sky, bend at your right knee. And now from here, you're going to bring your right hand in front of you. Keep your left arm. You can't see mine, but it's out in line with my left shoulder. Push through your right hand so that your right knee lifts off the floor. And now step your right foot behind you until you come up into a little bit of a stretch on the inside of your left shoulder. Relax your left temple down as your right knee lifts to the sky. Maybe your right foot finds the floor behind your left leg. And here you can open up with this right arm, or you can stay relaxing. If this is really quite a bit much on your left shoulder, then don't go as far. Stay with your right knee hovering. And you can even play around with bending through your left elbow. It gives a different sensation. Let it slowly unwind. Bring your right knee to the floor, bring your belly flat down, and switch. So your right arm is straight out ahead of you. I really hope you guys can see or at least understand this. Relax on the right side of your face. Bend your left knee. And now step your left foot behind your right leg until the knee points up. And you have this big opening through your right shoulder, into the right shoulder against the floor. And now once you're there, you can reach your left arm to the sky, even behind you. This can be really yummy for the shoulder. And as I said, you can always come out of it, bend your right elbow to 90 degrees, and try, try it that way. Wherever you are, stay just for one more breath. And then slowly roll onto your belly once again. We're going to come onto our backs straight away. So if you're happy with where you are in your mat, you can just roll straight onto your back. And if not, you can do a little shimmy and just switch so your head is in the other direction. Now from your back, Reach your legs straight to the sky. Give your ankles a bit of movement. Hug your knees in, squeeze them in towards your chest. Give yourself a little rock left and right. Beautiful. Stretch your legs up to the sky again. <clears throat> For five, can you try and lift your hips up? Imagine you're tapping the ceiling just five times. Be squeezing, using your lower abdomen. Beautiful. And after your fifth one, hug your knees in and see if you can have a look at the screen. And also while you're at it, make sure you have space on the mat behind you. So scoot yourself a little bit higher up. We're going to practice a little plow pose. Obviously, you see how it goes for you in your home. If you don't feel comfortable, then just have fun watching, staying here, feeling your spine. And if you'd like to join me, 
Cloud pose, I'll demonstrate first, and then we'll do it all together. Arms by your sides. You're going to lift your hips up, find a little bit of momentum to bring your feet above you and to touch the floor. Now, when you're there, try not to move your head. Just keep your head looking straight up. And once your feet touch the floor, work your arms and your shoulders closer together. Bend your elbows and find your lower back. Find high up your spine and support yourself. And now see so you can reach one leg up, the other, and find your legs going straight up to the sky. And now while you're there, try to create space underneath your, um, by your throat. And then we'll slowly come out of it. So if you'd like to practice with me, it's such a great way to release. It's a very calming effect on you. Let's have a go. Make sure you have space behind you. Be on your back. Bend your knees to your chest. Reach your arms by your hips. Take a couple rocks and rolls. Find some momentum to bring your feet overhead and tap and find the floor. Once you find the floor, work your shoulders towards one another. Underneath you, it's a little shimmy. And then once you find your shoulders closer, bend through your elbows and hold your back. Try to go as high up on your back as possible. And then see if you can lift one leg straight up to the sky. Maybe you can lift the other one. And once you're up, stay there for a moment. The weight should be on your shoulders. You shouldn't feel like your neck is crushed, anything strange like that. Keep reaching through active legs straight up. Squeeze your thighs together. Point your toes. Beautiful. Can you breathe? <laughs> Make sure you're breathing. Now to come out, hold on to your back. Hold on to your back. Slowly lower your feet back overhead. Bend your knees. So, so slow, so soft. Knees go wider than your head. Now slowly roll your spine down. You're holding on to your back like a little break. Like a little brakes in the car, yeah? <laughs> Beautiful. I'm so happy. Thank you for you guys for trying things out. <laughs> Once you're here, don't move a thing. Just step your feet flat down. You can let your knees drop from left to right. And if you like just a little counter movement, you can practice what we did. I think it was on Friday. By placing your hands underneath your boots, so you're sitting on your hands, press through your elbows and lift your chest off the floor until you're resting on the top of your head. This is, I think, called Matsyasana. It's just a little relief for your spine. To come out of it, slowly tuck your chin in, relax your spine back down, release your hands from your thighs. Bring your right knee to your chest. Stretch your left leg away. And if you'd like to join me for a little twist, you can bring your right knee across your body. Scooch, you let your left hip underneath you. Let your right knee go where gravity takes it. And open your arms. And let your body rest with a bit of simplicity. Gravity take over and take this moment to stretch your face, release your jaw, move your tongue. Just give your face a little feel. Not staying for too long because I want us to still enjoy Shavasana. Bring your right knee towards you, roll to your back, stretch your right leg long, and we're switching. Left knee comes in. Bring your left knee across your body. Scooch your right hip underneath you. And then slowly open up through your arms. Don't let anything pinch under. Create space. And surrender. And this time, instead of your face, can you try to relax through your shoulders? through your neck, can you let your head grow a bit heavier? 
and slowly coming onto our back again. Hug your left knee in. Bring both knees in. Give yourself a little shimmy on your back, making sure you're all balanced. And then stretch your limbs long. Legs go straight out in front of you, as wide as the mat. Let your feet flop open. Take your blankets with you if you need. Do any little last minute things you need to do. And then begin to settle. Adjust yourself like you're adjusting a baby that can't really move itself and is trying to sleep comfortably. And see if you can rest your back body even heavier on the mat. Close your eyes. Release some tension by your eyelids, your eyeballs. And let the sensations in your body just wash over you, flood throughout. Enjoy your shavasana. I will call you in a few minutes. Begin to grow aware of the immediate sensations, surroundings, feelings in your body. Take a couple deeper breaths into your belly as you bring some life back to your fingers and your toes. You rock your head from left to right. And then slowly begin to peel your legs off the floor and knees come into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze, a feeling, an embrace. As you rock, come into your side body. And then push the floor away to come and peel up into the seat. Bring your shoulders in movement, reach your arms wide, up to the sky, bring your palms to your heart. Bowing towards yourself. Take a moment to give yourself thanks. Reflect for a moment on the things that you wanted to achieve out of the practice. And then be grateful for the things that you did do. Taking a moment to celebrate your practice, your movement, your body, and health today. I thank you all for joining me for this hour of peace, this hour of yoga for yourself. Thank you so much for joining.